Hi everyone. It is exactly two weeks since we moved in to this RV. Such a difference. I was terrified two weeks ago and now I'm getting used to it and actually it's much better than expected. Let me show you around and uh, so you can take a look at where we live. This is That's a 360 degree view. Um, first of all, all the windows can be either open like this, or they could have a nightshade, or they could have a blackout shade. The front area, the driving area, which actually I won't be in the driver's seat at all, and the passenger seat, I won't be in very much because I'm going to be following the RV in a Tesla, so we we have a car. And um, so the passenger seat is Larry's temporary workout, not workout, but working area. And it's working great, although he didn't really spend a lot of time setting it up. Um, we use these overhead cabinets for um, an essential. We have Rummy Q in this area. And I can't remember. We have, oh, pickleball rackets here. And we also use the area over here for pickleball rackets too. But um, those rackets aren't here because Larry is playing pickleball right now with Mike Yaffe. Um, welcome to the kitchen area. Um, this particular RV is a Tiffin uh, 36UA open road, and we retrofitted it a bit. Um, the kitchen area used to be two benches with a table in the middle, and Larry made it a U bench, which will be used for our Mahjong area. Our license plate is even Maj to go and we plan to play a lot of Mahjong in this area. We uh, changed out the table to the, one of our original Mahjong tables, and he had these legs on it, but he's going to be getting a pole and changing it so um, uh, we have an area for your legs that's easier to sit in and more comfortable. And this is our kitchen area. And we don't have a dishwasher. We decided that we wanted these um, drawers instead, which is more useful for us. And we use this area to dry our, our dishes and it works pretty well. Um, we have these drawers, which we have our, our pot holders and our towels, our drying towels. And we have some essential things, cups, and on the bottom, we have just our bigger um, spoons and uh, different items for the kitchen that won't fit in any other drawer. And our cutlery is nicely organized here. Thank goodness that most of our knives have uh, shields on them so we won't cut our hands when we reach in to get the knives. This area is some, just some pots and pans and then we usually use the induction stove top, which we store in that area. We have three burners that are propane here, but we prefer the induction because it's temperature controlled and it's easier to, to cook on. So we don't really use the propane that much. Um, we have, but if we need two burners. And essential things for us are our Vitamix and our Duropressa, which we would not leave home without and they they fit here nicely and on our first trip they did not move so i don't think we have to store them when we're driving um, instead of our toaster over the oven that we have at home we have a microwave convection oven which we're actually getting pretty used to and i can roast my vegetables in it and they come out just the same as they do at home one thing that I like about the RV is that everything you need is right at your fingertips, which isn't the case in your home. The th when I'm doing my prep work and I need saran wrap or I need some foil, it's right here uh, above the um, convection oven and very easy to get and use and you don't have to pull out anything. One thing that Larry uses quite often when he cooks his spices and they're all right here 
and they're organized and um, it's, it's great to have. But that's not enough for him. He needs a place for more spices. So he has this area as well for our cutting board and the additional spices that he has. We have some more pots that are larger and we store those here. And another induction stove top when we're in uh, having people over for dinner, we could actually prepare a pretty large dinner or Larry could prepare a pretty large dinner because he does most of the cooking. Um, I forgot to show you this cute little window that is set up for Parker, which she is used to it now, and she really loves looking at the window. And she also has another area right here that she likes sitting in, making sure that we're safe and protecting us from all those villains out there. She lets us know what's going on. So back into the kitchen area. All of our dishes we store in this area. And I got some shelving from Costco, which allows us to store more stuff. And we could seat, uh, not seat, but we could, uh, we have dishes for about six people. And silverware for about six people. Our cleaning supplies we keep under here. I put, I installed two different towel racks. So we have one for all the drying the dishes. And, and Larry's not allowed to use that one for uh, drying his hands. So I installed a different color one that he could use. And remember, that's the one you use to dry your hands because I'm OCD and anal and that's what I do. Um, we have a full-size refrigerator and it holds quite a bit. And I wanna thank Jessica and Sharon for um, putting in all of our stuff from our whole house into this refrigerator on Friday night, a little over two weeks ago. Um, our pantry area, where we keep our pantry supplies, is up in this general area. And I've organized it so that our baking goods and popcorn, which is essential because Larry eats popcorn a lot, are there. And we have our oatmeal and our casein and all of our oils right there. So it's all easily accessible. And we have our bigger pots, which amazingly fit here, and our um, bowls that we use all the time right there. And lastly, our dog supplies. Now, this particular area, this uh, Tiffin, had uh, a couch that pulled out into a queen-size bed, but we really uh, didn't find that to be that comfortable, and we wanted an area to watch uh, TV, kind of like a living room. So Gary Conley generously uh, gifted us these beautiful recliners, and they have side tables, which is awesome. They fully recline, they vibrate, and they have what I love the most. They have heat on your back, so you could turn on the heat and be warm and watch TV at night, turn on the fireplace, and it's, it's really cozy. And Parker has her little bed, although she never stays in that. She wants to be up with us, which we let her. And then this uh, RV had uh, two bunk beds for kids, but Larry took those out and he, uh, he made my office. So, and I have nice, good lighting, which I really like. And I have a shelf and I have all my files and I have my desk and the top pulls out. The laptop could go underneath that. I have two screens and most beneficial, I have a big giant window where now I can only see another RV, but soon I'll be seeing the beach. I'll be seeing mountains. I'll be seeing nature and I can work and look out the window and I don't feel claustrophobic and we could um, close it up at night when, when I decide the work day is over. So one thing about this RV that other RVs don't have is a second bathroom. This is our guest bathroom and it's right here. And has a, it's small, but it definitely does a job, has the mirror direct line to underneath so and uh it's it's a, an okay bathroom so now welcome to our master bedroom 
um, we replaced the king size bed with a full bed. We chose a purple bed, which is extremely comfortable after moving an entire house and a 7,000 square foot house to this small place, Larry moved entirely by himself. Of course, you would think that his back would be killing him, but actually after sleeping on the purple mattress, he did not feel uh, like he had back issues. His, we have the purple pillows too, and, and both, the, both the mattress and the pillows, we highly recommend. They have helped our back and helped our neck, and we didn't even realize that we were in such pain because of our mattress until now. But anyway, we have the full-size bed, so Larry can't get away when I have my freezing cold feet, and I want them to be on his warm body. Um, it also gives us the availability to have an area on each side of the bed for our storage, which we both have. And Larry uh, made two different uh, connectors on each side of the bed, even though we had them in the front, he made the side ones for two different connectors so they're easily accessible and we're connected whenever we would like to be connected. The master bedroom also serves as my um, workout area. We installed these mirrors. Well, Larry installed these mirrors. And I have these mirrors on the side and I use that TV to work out. Um, I store all of my weights underneath the bed, which I will pull up. Let me. Okay, it's not too bad. I have my yoga mat, actually Maya's yoga mat, my roller, which I roll out my back to help my spine, and all my weights, and my bench, which works great. I pull it out. I put the yoga mat. I do my workout. I have my side mirrors and everything works just like it does at home. Actually, it's a little bit better than at home because I have the overhead fan and I have the vent from the bathroom. So I crank the air down to 65. I open the vent and it swoops all the cold air into the room and, and I could work out full speed and it's great. Then um, we have our master bath, and it's a lot of area. We purchased this unit to hold all of our shampoos and soaps. And this is our laundry facility. This could have had a washer and dryer in it, but we chose the space instead. Um, I have all of my laundry detergents and my laundry basket and all of those things that are essential there um medications and things my hair dryer hat there's a humidifier up there i have that up there and then other essentials i store in this area i try to label everything so it's easy to know where you have your things um, the closet area Larry graciously gave me the entire closet except for a small area. I organized all my jewelry by using hooks and uh, there's all my clothes. I use the efficient hanger so you could hang more things. And this is all of mine except for this little bit right here. And then I also did hooks for uh, my belts. So everything's in here. And in case my shoes get stinky, I have my Febreze. And I also put, um, I put laundry detergent or laundry softener sheets in here to keep it smelling good because it's such a small space and um, I like everything smelling, smelling good. And then all the drawers are mine except for the two right there. Those are his. There's little Parker's uh, toys and her little pee pad because she's an indoor dog. She doesn't go out, outdoors. And then our hamper for our dirty clothes right there and our recycling area this is where I recycle all of my water bottles and for Larry's additional clothes that he has his uniform he puts them up here and then I um, house my linens and things and my sweaters and my books in this area oh yeah and a vacuum because I like to keep everything nice and nice and clean and 
uh, there's a lot of dirt that tracks in from outside when you're walking in, and I hate that when I'm walking around barefoot to feel those little pieces, so I make sure that everything is nice and clean. And um, that's pretty much it for the interior. The exterior, um, I'm not really going to show you. Uh, we didn't make any changes. I mean, everything is nicely stored and organized under there, but um, and there are a lot of bins, but uh, it, it's the same as at, at every other RV. And this is it. And it's been two weeks, and we can't wait. We can't wait to shove off to the coast of California on June 9th. We are, we'll be putting our itinerary on Facebook, and we plan to make it to San Francisco for July 4th weekend. And then we'll be in this, in this RV for two, two and a half years until we uh, build our home in La Quinta. We purchase some land on La Quinta and we break ground June of 2023. And it's going to be an adventure. And I'm glad that I get to share it with the person I love the most. And um, it's a big life change. I heard on American Idol, Lionel Richie said it. He said, your life begins at the end of your comfort zone. And boy, this is the end of my comfort zone. And I'll let you know if that saying is accurate in two and a half years. Bye, everyone.